Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Unify 6 long range access point. I've been waiting for this access point for a few months now and it finally got delivered to me. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put it in the description below. So like always, I'm gonna get this unboxed and then we'll go over some of the specs and we'll install it and do a speed test and iPerf test. And here we have the Unify 6 long range box. Let's get it open. This, this box is pretty big compared to other boxes that the access points go into. Let's open the top of it. And that is a big access point. On the top, they have this piece of plastic that is covering the access point. So let's pull that off. And that has some weight to it. We'll look in the specs and see how heavy it actually is. And it sounds like it's metal, but it is plastic, but it has its smooth finish. We could see our back, the mount is gonna be pretty big. And then it has this plastic grommet to protect the ethernet port. We could pull that out. And then we could see in the middle the PoE plus in, and there's also a reset button on this access point. This is the mounting template that comes with it and there's also a level on the template. And here we have a mounting bracket and this looks like their pro mounting bracket. They also have another mount. This would be used for drop ceiling. And then inside here will be our accessory kit, which they always do a great job on. So we'll pull it out and you could see just how much they give you. So I assume these clips, they would be for like a T bar um, for your drop ceiling and they come with some other screws, a few anchors. Comes with this plastic clip, which will go on the back after you put your ethernet cable in. It comes with an Allen key. And what they're putting in their Unify 6 Lite and their Unify 6 LR is the mount release tool. So this makes it a lot easier if you need to get the access point down from your roof. You just push this into the tab and it will release the access point from the mount. And then it just comes with some verbiage. This is the Unify 6 long range and it says scan here to get started. And it comes with the QR code on the back. And that's it, that's in the box. No PoE injectors come with this. So you'll need to have a switch that has PoE plus or you'll need to buy your own PoE injector if you don't have a PoE switch. And one last thing I wanna show, this is a UAP AC Pro and this is the Unify 6 LR. And you could just see the difference in the size. The Unify 6 LR is quite a bit bigger than the UAP AC Pro. Let's go back to the computer and look at some of the specs. Now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's go over some of the specs on the Unify 6 LR access point. So it delivers an aggregate radio rate of up to three gigabits per second. So on the five gigahertz band, we have four by four multi-user MIMO and on the 2.4 gigahertz band we have 4x4 MIMO. It has a 1.3 gigahertz dual processor which now supports full duplex 1 gigabit connection. It has four streams of high efficiency Wi-Fi 6 technology. On the 5 gigahertz band we could have a maximum throughput of 2.4 gigabits per second and on the 2.4 gigahertz band we could have up to 600 megabits per second. The access point is powered with 802.3 PoE and it does not include a power over ethernet injector. The price on this access point is $229 MSRP Canadian. The weight of the access point without a mount is 1.76 pounds and with the mount it's 2.05 pounds. It supports RGB which is pretty cool and I'll show you guys the uh, colors changing on that when we get it adopted into our Unify controller. It's IP54 weather rated. The max power consumption on this is 16.5 watts. It supports a few Wi-Fi standards, so the 802.11 A, B, and G, Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, and Wi-Fi 6, and it supports a few different wireless securities. So WPA pre-shared key, WPA enterprise, WPA2, and WPA3. Eight radios per BSSID. It also lets us have per user rate limiting, and it supports up to 300 plus concurrent clients. So now I need to get this mounted onto my ceiling, plugged in with my ethernet cable, and then adopted into our controller. Okay, so the first thing I need to do, I need to take down my U6 light. I'm standing on my computer desk, probably not the best idea, but let's see how that goes. So this is gonna make quite a bit of mess because I have popcorn ceiling, but we need to take our mount 
And if it tells us if we're gonna ceiling mount it to use the screw holes A, so I'm just gonna press it up against the wall and then make some marks. Luckily for me, all the holes are actually going into studs, so I could just screw in the screws. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now our mounting bracket is on, we need to plug our cable into our Unify 6 LR and then mount it onto the bracket. And there you go, and it is showing the white light so we need to get this adopted into our controller. The installation of the U6 LR was pretty easy. I already had some holes in there and it helped that there was a piece of plywood on the top and a couple studs for me to put the screws through so I didn't need any of the anchors. So let's go ahead and get it adopted into our network. Now we can see the U6 LR pending adoption. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And then we're gonna press adopt. The U6 is now adopted into our controller and it's showing that it needs a firmware update. We'll click on the update button. And then it's saying, Do, are you sure you wanna upgrade the U6 LR from 5.4315 to 5.4.3.23 and we'll press confirm. Now our Unify 6 LR has finished the firmware upgrade. Let's click on it and see what we can do with it. So on the right hand side, we can see the MAC address, the model, the firmware version that it's running. We can see the Wi-Fi experience. Right now we don't have any clients on it. We can see the IP address and we can see the link capacity. We can see how long this access point has been up for, the memory usage, the load average, and then the users and guests. We could also see the Wi-Fi membership, so it's a part of all these Wi-Fi SSIDs, and then it's a part of the AP group, all APs. If we click on the wired uplink, this is gonna show us where it's wired back to, which is my US Pro 24 port 20. We could take a look at the radios, and then it will also show us the WLANs. On the next tab, we have the client tab, which there's no clients currently, and then we have the config wheel. Here we could give it an alias, so I'm going to call it u6-lr office. And then for the LEDs, we could use site settings and we could turn it on and off. We could also change the LEDs, which I'll show you guys in a minute with the camera pointed to it with my lights turned off. We could go down to our radios and then we could specify our hard code, which channel width we want, the channel number or the transmit power. We could do that for the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz band. I'm gonna leave it on auto right now and we're gonna do our speed test and iperf test. And then I will switch the five gigahertz band to be HE160 and we'll see how the difference is for that. We could do band steering. So if we wanna prefer the 5G or have it balanced, we could look at the services which will just allow us to specify what the management VLAN is. Under the network, it says configure IP, so it's using DHCP, but you could address it as static IP address. And then under manage device, we have our copy configuration, custom upgrade, force provision, disable this device, which would disable the access point, and then forget this device, which would take it out of our controller. If we go over to the tools, we could see the RF environments, and we could do a scan of the two gigahertz band and the five gigahertz. We could also scroll down and go and open a debug terminal. Under stats, we could see the CPU and memory utilization. We could see the channel utilization, the drops, and the retries. Now let's test out the RGB on the Unify 6 LR. Right now it's just the default blue. I'm gonna change it to red and then press save. And we should see that change in a second. And now we could see that the LED turned to red. Let's change it to green. We could see now that it's green. And one last color we'll try is a yellow. And now we can see it's changed to yellow. The RGB is pretty cool. I hope they add this feature to all their access points here on out, anything new so that you could match it with your whole house. Now we've seen all the settings for the U6 LR. We're gonna get into the speed test and the iPerf test. All right, let's now do some speed tests and iPerf test on the U6 LR. This is the only access point with the admin wireless network. So I'm gonna connect my phone to the admin network. All right, I'm connected with my phone to the Unify 6 LR and we're gonna do a speed test. I'll press go. 
and I'm getting 390 megabits per second down and 399 up, and that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I haven't changed any of the settings. It's all set to auto. Now let's do an iPerf test. This computer is gonna be my iPerf server. We have the iPerf server set up and it's at 192.168.10.87. First, we're gonna use the transmit mode of download and then we'll do upload and it will be for five streams for 30 seconds. And I'll press start. And the average for the download was 400 megabits per second. Let's test the upload. And the average upload was 343 megabits per second. Now I'm gonna grab my GoPro. We'll go to different levels of the house and then outside and we'll see the speed test as well as the iPerf test. Okay, so we're on my main story of the house and this is one floor down from the access point. Let's do a speed test and I'll press go. As you can see, 366 megabits per second down and 314 up. Let's do an iPerf test. We're going to start with the download, so I'm going to press start. And we got an average of 391 megabits per second down. Let's do the upload. And we had an average upload of 300 megabits per second. Now we're down in the basement, which is two floors down from the access point. Let's do a speed test. And we're getting 217 megabits per second down in 94.5 up. Let's go ahead and do an iPerf test. I'm gonna start with the download. And the download average was 226 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 169 megabits per second. Now we're in the backyard. Let's do a speed test out here. And we're getting 116 megabits per second down and 68.7 up. Let's do the iPerf test. So we'll start with our download again. Okay, and the average is 116 megabits per second on the download. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 54 megabits per second. Okay, now we've seen the speed tests from different floors of my house and outside as well as iPerf tests. I'm gonna go ahead and change the channel width of the five gigahertz. So I'm gonna click on my U6LR. We're gonna click on the config and then we're gonna go down to radios. Under the five gigahertz, that's at HE40 right now. I'm gonna bump that up to 160 and then we're just gonna select auto channel and queue changes and apply. Once that's done provisioning, we'll do another speed test, see if we get better results. Now the channel width has been bumped up to the highest it could go, let's do a speed test. And as you can see, we're getting a lot higher speeds with 555 megabits per second down and 383 up. Putting your channel width higher could cause interference. I'm gonna put mine back to default as I like a stable connection over the high speeds. So the Unify 6 LR is a great access point. I'm very happy with it for the price that they have the RGB and how far the distance goes. I was in my backyard and still able to get 100 megabits per second and this is just off of one access point. I will do some comparison videos in the future on other Wi-Fi 6 access points. So the Unify 6 LR against the Unify 6 Lite, obviously the LR should be better as well as different vendors. If you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you're new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon all right thanks